What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to avoid texture stretching when scaling the meshes with a simple material. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, if you are serious about learning and making your first game in Unreal Engine 5, join my Unreal Club. Inside, you will be able to download entire private files from my tutorials, enter private meetings and webinars with industry experts, access exclusive ebooks packed with the best tricks, get powerful asset frameworks to speed up your blueprints, and much more. The link is in the description. With that said, let's continue with the video. Alright, so for example, if I were to open up a simple Story content material and drag it and apply it into a mesh in the level, it looks decent. But once I start to go ahead and stretch this material, as you can see, it just looks awful from the side and pretty much from every angle. So, how can we fix this? Well, by creating our own custom material. So, in the content browser, let's right click, create a new material, name it whatever you want. In my case, just a material for the example. And now it is where the tutorial starts. So usually we would go ahead and drag in a texture sample, select a texture, for example, one on one, and then pass the RGB to the base color, metallic, specular, roughness, all those kind of things. But for this case, we do not need the RGB. We need something more, which is the texture object as a whole. This gives us a bit more of control or what we can do with our textures. In this case, I wanna go ahead and apply a wooden texture. So let me go ahead and select this one and apply it. And now we're gonna be using this world aligned texture node. This will simply project this texture object over our mesh. And we have a lot of more control over this, okay? So we have th three different outputs, X, Y, Z, and X, Y, Z. In this case, let's go ahead and you select X, Y, Z because it will give us the projection for all of the vectors and it's exactly what we want okay so now i'll go ahead and just apply save and drag this material into the mesh boom is there as you can see there's no stretching even when i do this but still it's a bit you know too small the tiling is just very repetitive right it has to be bigger so we can change this by changing the texture size so hold the one key on your keyboard and then left click and now we can create new constant values plug that into the texture size and put something as 500 okay it has to be pretty big and now as you can see the texture size increased and guess what we can go ahead stretch this as much as we want and it still stays the same which is perfect now in the case that you only want to you know use one side you could get the xy texture output and as you can see it will only do the sides not the top or vice versa, only the top and now the sides, right? But I mean, usually 99% of the time, you will want the whole X, Y, and Z. So that's working as you can see. Now we can do the same for the normal and all this stuff. So I could go here, select the normal, apply this here, X, Y, Z, normal, apply, boom. And the same for the, you know, metallic and you know, it's roughness and all that stuff. In my case, it's just an example, but you get the idea is the exact same thing. I recommend, of course, to have the um, sizes, right? Of all the textures the same, right? So if now it will look pretty weird. So maybe hook it up to the same parameter and that's it. And that's it. With this literal um, setup over here, you can just avoid stretching with the material. So that's it, guys. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you like and subscribe to my channel. Join my real club if you're serious about learning on Windows 5 and you want to download this material. Now, yes, and I'll say bye bye.